where even we don't know in the next 24 hours. So I'll stay tuned to the forecast and you stay tuned to me. But here's what we do know is happening for today. We still have our cold weather alert across all of England. It's a health and social care warning for people who are very vulnerable and also very young or very susceptible to the cold weather. But at the moment, Seth, it's a very difficult... The lovely Mark in the green room gave you these because I wasn't here for Valentine's last week. They're love letters. So I'm going to be able to spend all day with these little letters making funny words. I've made one already. We have this cold air coming from the north, but this mild air waiting in the wings. And it's right along this line that we have rain moving up from the south through today and tomorrow. As it hits the cold air, that brings the risk. Of Good morning to you. We just saw Andy there. And the weather for him is looking absolutely fine. Beautiful spells of sunshine temperatures, which is for him. And that, as we head through the next seven days, we look at Scotland, Northern Ireland, northern areas of England. And first of all, our trend in temperature. We are below average as we head through the rest of the week. The mild air doesn't arrive until the end of the weekend percentage chance of rainfall well anything that falls from the sky and the cold air across the north is likely to be snow so we have snow and ice warnings for the majority cold northerly winds spreading across the uk over the next 24 hours and this is pushing up against mild air welcome back to good morning britain some of us will be waking up to a covering of snow over the next few days we're battling with cold air moving in we have this cold air in the arctic that's been streaming down the focus for some snow will be through south wales and southern england but it is Thursday. We're set to see much more disruptive snow heading through northern England and Scotland. So today, I'm kind of sad that the weather has to happen now.